All right, I put a metal uh, armature inside the dog. It's just a post of uh, a a uh, piece of copper or actually aluminum wire, and uh, that's just to hold him in place. Because I came in this morning after the weekend of uh, sitting here like uh, without anything in it, it just was leaning over on her lap. So clay is soft and it. it doesn't take much to make it uh, uh, flop around. I'm also going to have to put a wire armature in that leg that's uh, touching her lap right there. So I'm going to do that today. Time to play with some clay. I uh, wanted to permanently put it on this board because once I get the dog done, I've got to permanently set it on this board that I'm going to be removing. And the only way to do that is by putting it in there permanently now. And so I just had to figure out where to put the dog. And I did that. And now I'm going to start sculpting. All right, I'm going to take the... Uh, platform out okay what I'm going to do is make the armature for the uh, outstretched paw out of aluminum wire The reason I'm making the armature is because the clay won't hold itself up. It has to have something stronger than the clay inside of the clay. Or the clay will start drooping. Alright, the palm lines up perfectly with the lap. Which is perfect for me. I'm going to call this piece, uh, I'm going to change the title from Snowflower, which was her name, to bonding. Just simple words. The word bonding. And uh, I think that'll be a good title for it. Um, I was thinking of puppy love also, but I don't know. That might be too cute. <laughs> but bonding, yeah. All right. I guess, I guess it's time to get busy on this thing. I just noticed that my uh, camera had gone off center and uh, I was filming up here instead of down here. And so I got a lot of video that I just can't use today. And I apologize for that. It's kind of typical Monday. Nothing seems to go right.
Well, let's gotta get the eyeballs in. Hair too big. All right. Well, I'm not going to have much time to work today, so I'm going to just have to call it uh, for now and uh, come back tomorrow with a lot more, hopefully. I will probably be going to uh, Livingston sometime this week, and I'm going to have to plan it on a day when it's not snowing and the roads are clear. And so I don't know what day I'm going to be going. I got to pick up my clay of the cowgirl and cowboy. And uh, the cowboy serenade piece. Yeah, that's looking a lot better now. I noticed something about her neck, and I've got to look at that one. Yeah, her neck's a little thin. I'm going to have to bring her neck out a little bit, too. All right, that's going to have to do it for today. I'm sorry it's not much more than that, but uh, it took me a while to figure out what to do with this guy and how exactly I was going to work on it. And I got it finally figured out. All these things take planning, and then once you plan, you have to execute. And uh, get the center of his back a little bit more centered. It'll look a lot better. All right, everybody, good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.